Hello everybody, it's just Dom, and welcome on board the Disney Fantasy. I'm on deck 5 forward, and I'm going to show you how to get to room 5018. Let's go! So, from the forward lifts or elevators, you go to the port side of the ship, and then just keep walking forward. So this little cabin here is 5018 as displayed here. It's got an accessible card swipe with no doorbell. The door's also slightly different by the fact that it pushes open instead of it being motorized. Taking you slightly past the cabin here, we'll show you what else is down the corridor. Just a few more cabins and then you eventually hit the very front of the ship, but you see on the left five accessible entrance, which is for handicap people. Back to the cabin. So a slightly different door on this one, this is how you open this door. Swipe, and push. And you're in. to 5018. Within the room, I can give you a brisk tour just by showing it like this. It's slightly different to your normal double double room cabin that you get on the Disney Fantasy and the Dream. Um, by the fact that it's more like an L shape when you have a look at it in here. So, so you can see that the bed is over here. Then we also have your double pull down bed over here and the chest over here for your shoes or anything you want to put in there. And um, you've got a wider door as you can see from here. This is the front door entering into the cabin. Then you've got your double pull down bed, one that comes from the roof, which is this one here, and then the one that is just the sofa bed, which pulls down to make the bed there. Then you have the main queen size bed, usual mean it is with your phone over here and your light switches over here. Adequate space underneath the bed to fit anything in there. We have had our suitcases in. This is the last day of our cruise, unfortunately. So that's why it's dark, but we thought we'd do this on the last day. Get the cabin in the best quality it is. You also have over here another double switch again with an alarm clock. It also features two plugs down here, and obviously the USB plugs within there. You have got drawer space on both sides. One, it's not a very big drawer. One side features the Bible, the other side is empty. When you come back up here, you can see a little panoramic of the room here. This room features two big lounger chairs. Well, I say big lounger chairs, they're just big chairs. <laughs> which are quite comfy in the addition of the, also the desk chair in front over here. Then you have the wardrobe space, which is here. Which also has your safe which you can just about see in the dark, is there. And we shut the this side, and it also has got another part of the wardrobe in there. Which is all ready to go. Moving over here, we have obviously the space where you've got your ice bucket, your protection mat for any hot styling tools, as it says there. Some cups here, obviously some of these are gone because we've been drinking out of them. You can see my lovely what I like to call the rat basically, but it's not, it's just a muffler. We've got three drawers, not facade drawers, these are real drawers. Plenty space in the drawers. And then we also have, like I say, the desk chair there, with a little hidden, little mini drawer up here, which has just got usually a bunch of stuff in, including your breakfast menu, the room service menu, and other stuff in there. You've got this, 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 and more. <laughs> The rest of the desk bit is still up here. It features two USBs. This one controls the light at the desk, which you can see up there, and myself. This one controls my lights within the room, which is the double light, which is one up there and one around the corner. Oh, we went a bit out of focus there. We also have another feature within this room, which is the night light feature, which is on this light here. So if I was going to go and kill some of the lights in here, you'll be able to see the night light. 
There we go. You can just sort of see it's just like a. It's not a really bright light, but it's just it's a dim light. Which obviously that's what it looks like when you turned off. So it's just a little dim light, which you can't see when you turn the light back on, but it's still on. So you just turn that back off here. Extra plugs over here, including the hairdryer outlet, which has got a tiny bit more power than the rest of the outlets, which is for the in-state room hairdryer, which is up here. You also got more plugs in here. The two waveforms that come in this cabin that are ready to go there. You have the telly here, which is just showing the unfortunate forecast for the last day, which is tomorrow, to get off, and showing our current current course updates and a bit more of the route that we've actually sailed. So we're already 150 nautical miles away from Casper Bay Key. We're basically halfway there. This also shows you all the other ships that are in within the DCL fleet. Obviously when the wish comes out that will be added to that, but that is the current other three at the moment. So that is pretty cool. Moving down here you have the cupboard which features a little mini fridge which at the moment has our bit of cheese and some Bud Light which obviously we're going to get rid of but that's just what was in there <laughs> and then you have the double portals there's no divide and wall in it, it is all one room so the double portals here it is dark outside but I'll try and input the view where it's like during the day you get a little seat within there so you can sit in there and then just outside there is like the shelf of the ship here and then it goes down to the ocean which you can't obviously see because it is night time and then we've got the second one here which is just the exact same two comfy little seats very nice to watch the world go by and the ocean when it's not night time and that is the main part of the room with two coat hooks up here and that is the AC controller here so you can go super hot if you want which I would never really do or you can go super cold with a quick cool like that not a split bathroom but a large, wide walk-in bathroom. So you've got a small ramp here, which you can't really see in the carpet, but it does slope up, so there is no step up to the bathroom, so it does slope up to there. So it is a kind of accessible friendly room, but it's just not advertised as that. It's probably because the door's not automated, and there's a few other features that are missing from it. Um, you've got the full size mirror, which is here, which you can see me in. And then we enter into the shower washroom. We have the shower here, with all the lovely H2O bottles which are ready to go. Not the most powerful shower, but it is a shower that you can use in there. This curtain does pull back more, and it also does pull back all the way around, like that. Over here obviously we have the toilet, because this isn't a split room, this is all just in one place, which is here. And then you move around to the big wash basin, the sink, whatever you want to call it, with another shower. There is no magnified part of this mirror though, that's the one thing to notice from there, and there's no separate mirror that magnifies it. So this is a one standard type mirror. You do have your other face cloths here, so you have two towels there, you usually get four towels in the room, depending on how many you have in your party. You also have the makeup cloth just here, which is a special one that they put in, which is black, for remove makeup. And you have the space under here, so this is the extra towel under here, and you have your shaver's point under here for your razors. You can put them in the dual port, but one of them has obviously the different ratings for the voltage. But there's a little secret shelf there, which you can put stuff in. So the tissue is there, a bit in underneath, and more space under here. You have a closed rail there for hanging any things to dry. Another light up here, and your towel rail here, and just then you're back outside. And that, my friends, is room 5018. I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope this has been quite informative. If you need to know any more little things about this room, just ask us in the comments below, or anywhere you like. <laughs> but that is where I can answer more comments about this. Enjoy! Thank you for watching.